On October the 7th, 1991, Monica and I spent a wonderful day together. We went to our old hometown, visited some people, had lunch, and then came home to have supper with the family. Approximately 11 o'clock that night, the doorbell rang. When I came downstairs, there was two gentlemen standing there. They told us that they were there to take us to the hospital, that Monica had been injured. We had no idea what had happened. We got to the hospital, and they took us into this room. The doctor came in shortly after and told us the grave news. That Monica had been stabbed several times with a fatal blow to the heart. My baby was dead. At the trial, we learned not only about the emotional and economic abuse, but isolation, intimidation, threats, and finally assaultive behavior. Now she is dead, and no human power can restore her life. This was Monica's story. I just want to say I'm really sorry about what happened and I want to ask you um, why did he do it like is it because he loved her too much or like is that his defini definition of love? People get confused sometimes with the definition of love and, and a lot of times it's self-esteem. If you don't have any self-esteem then what you want out of a relationship, you can't get a certain way, the normal way as you and I know it. So you revert to something else, which is power and control. If I can't get you one way, I will get you another way. And I will force you to be with me. And that's what he did. But then Monica left him. She showed her independence. She walked away from the situation. But he couldn't handle that. So if he couldn't have her, no one would have her. Um, what could I do if I knew a friend was in the same situation? One very